Hello, this is Sadhun here again teaching you how to use Cyber Motion 3D Designer. In our previous tutorials, we have learned everything about Cyber Motion 3D Designer. We have learned how to do modeling, and we have learned how to do animation in Cyber Motion 3D Designer. We have, but we have left it two things in our this panel. One is light, and other is Extrude Editor. First, we will be learning about how to use Extrude Editor. Click on Extrude Editor, where you will be shown a window like mine make a model of your own in our ship editor which we have learned before in my tutorials uh, we make things like of circular shape in this in this extrude editor we learn things like wait a minute let me make the model please okay now mo my model has been uh, a very ugly type of model i have made you can make anything what you want to make you can write your name by using extrude editor i am i have make um, i don't know i but i have made click on create and then on name go back to cyber motion 3d designer where you will be shown your model okay uh, you can rotate it by using the rotating rotation tool okay and now uh, when you will render it you will be able to see that your extrude editor is now has been made and now you have learned how to use extrude editor and now i will be you will be learning about how to use lights in the light panel you see four types of light one is parallel sun other is lamp uh, and it and third is spotlight and fourth is volumetric fire okay in parallel sun and lamp it is these two are very easy you just have to click it on it and they are made uh, it is hard to make a spotlight and volumetric fire first i will be teaching you about volumetric fire click on it and then click on create click on ok as you can see that your fire has been added to your scene uh, it doesn't it doesn't appear on your perspective panel but when you will render it it will be shown let me scale it down a little bit first Mm. Okay. And now when I will render it, you will be able to see that the f it is looking like a, a fire or a candle burning. I'm trying to make a lamp la la lamp here. Okay. Now you can also give a texture to the extrude model. Mm, I'm giving it a texture of gold bump. Click on assign to selection and then okay. Okay. Now when you will render it you will be able to see that fire is glowing very well and it is looking like a lamp. Okay. Now you have learned about volumetric fire. Now we will be learning about spotlight. Okay, what spotlight does is how to make a spotlight is just click on it. You click on it and spotlight is made on in our panel as you can see. Take your moving tool and move it um, backward a little bit. Uh, as you can see that whenever I put the spotlight in front of the uh, attitude model the model shines because of the texture now when I will render it uh, you will be able to see that the uh, lamp is now shining if I give a su surface to that lamp then you will also be able to see the shadow of them the spotlights control the shadow if we place the spotlight above then the shadow will be uh, placing on the downward uh, or uh, now you have learned about everything about how to use spotlights, lamps, volumetric fire, extrude editor you have learned now everything about cyber motion 3d designer i am making a tutorial of how to make games if you are interested in making games you can click the annotation right here to uh, to know how to make games it is a tutorial on how to make games. Uh, it is a very easy type of m making games. Uh, I will teach you how to use them on Unity 3D. How to make a game on Unity 3D. It is a very easy kind of software. If you are interested in making games, so wait for the next week when there will appear an annotation. So for that, goodbye. Meet you next week on my game making tutorial. Goodbye.